So Zia, for the first time in your professional career, you became the champions of the of the country's national league. Yeah. So what's the feeling right now after after the night passed, and the yeah. next day after winning the trophy? Man, it's been pretty good. Um, it's a good feeling. Uh, whenever you're a champion, uh, I think that's what's most important. Um, championships don't come by often. You know, you gotta work very hard for a championship round after round. And put it in like a whole year's worth of work. Um, and I think that's kind of what we showed here. Um, our resilience, our, you know, just our tenacity out there on the court. And, you know, we pulled it off. The Champions Party match yeah. the serious intensity and the emotions that you guys. <laughs> I say maybe even a little bit more, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, talking about you and about this season, it's yeah. been up and down for you. Yeah. You started one team, then mm -hmm. you went home and back back to states, and yeah. then you joined Jardis. Yeah. How can you evaluate this whole season in your career for you? Man, it's this has been like I, I've said many times before, my toughest professional season yet. Um, especially going to a team like Adolo Efes in the middle of the season. Well, two months into the season. Um, playing there for about two and a half months, going back to the States, um, coming to Lithuania, playing here for for six months almost. And, you know, me getting injured like almost two, three times within that time span, taking weeks off, months, a month here, two weeks here, one week here. Um, it was kind of hard to find a rhythm, but um, just knowing that, you know, a championship was at the end of the tunnel, um, that kind of, you know, made it a little bit better for sure. At the second part of the season, when you joined the Jardim squad, yeah. uh, how would you say you grew, you grew up as a player, knowing that you had situations when you had to lead the team, yeah. uh, knowing the situations uh, when you were coming off the bench and yeah. so on? Um, it's different. It's different. Uh, you know, w once you change teams and things like that, um, you see different cultures, different coaching, um, different personalities. So I think that's something I, I kind of had to get used to. And um, coming to this team, um, it just showed me like a lot, just like a toughness, um, just the toughness and how, you know, details are very important. Um, I think that's one of the things that I've, I've learned here of how important the details are and how to execute um, a lot better also. In the second part of the season, we can also distinguish two parts of that second part of the season. Yeah. Uh, one part when you guys reach the quarterfinals of the EuroLeague, yeah. another part when you had to find uh, yourselves in that LK playoff series. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking only about the finals, the semifinals, the quarterfinals. Yeah. Uh, that second part of the second part of the season, yeah. the, the the playoffs in the LKL. Yeah. How did you guys find yourself also as a team, knowing that with every passing game, uh, you guys show it seemed like you showed better and better understanding. What, what it means uh, for the team to have this trophy? Um, I think especially after the year league's over, um, people might kind of expect us just to, I don't want to say take it down a, lot, a notch, but um, we know the competition is like a little bit different, but at the same time, um, when you're competing in your home country, um, I think it means a lot, especially to like the locals, um, of just bringing the trophy home, what it means to Zalgarius, knowing that They've won many championships here. Uh, we've won many championships before. And, you know, fortunately, we weren't able to do it last year. And just to bring it back to Cones, I think that it meant that much more. The whole mood in the locker room at yeah. the end of the season, how would you say you, you blend in in the team together with Akile, who came uh, at mm -hmm. the same time as you came to the team at the end of the season? What was the feeling to be uh, the part of the Jaguars locker room? Man, it was fun. I, I think my personality, I kind of talked to everybody. Well, at least I tried to, at least. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm a, I'm a fun, outgoing dude. Um, I'm not too, I'm not too reserved or anything like that. So um, just coming in this, in this locker room, bringing like a little bit of personality, so everybody can kind of get out their shell a little bit, and you know, just show, just just show some character. Um, I think that's um, what is the most important part. During that game five, you just exploded. You scored 32 points, uh, yeah. the third best result, uh, the, the second actually best result in the LKL finals in the one game scoring. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you think that happened? Like knowing that uh, before that game, uh, you were one of the leaders, but it wasn't like a 30 plus performance. Mm -hmm. Now you yeah. just exploded. It was big. Um, I knew that. I just knew I just I just had to bring it home. You know, after after game four, um, I was like I said, I was at the free throw line. I missed two. I missed two. I mean, I put that on my shoulders. Um, the game could have been a lot different if I would have made one or or even both of those free throws. Uh, so, you know, just. For, for the past few days, I kind of just put that behind me. I mean, usually when I was a younger player, I would have thought about it day by day by day. But as soon as the game was over, I really didn't think about it too much. And I knew what it meant to the to the home crowd um, when 
when I was driving up to the arena, I seen all the green and white outside, and yeah. that kind of motivated me right there, right before I even walked in the gym, man, just just to get the job done. How how did you see this rivalry between Ritas and Jalgiris during the series? Because mm -hmm. uh, we we hear talk that we haven't seen um, these intense finals in 30 years, maybe, and the both fan bases like they were at each other. Yeah, it was, to be honest, that's what makes it fun. I think that's what makes the game fun. I really didn't understand or really have that, like really see the the rivalry um, in the regular season. Um, it was there because I haven't I, I didn't play Aritas yet, and um, but as soon as we got to the playoffs, I kind of felt it. I, I felt it, especially being on, on their home court, um, how their their fans are hostile, and them coming here, our fans don't like them. So yeah. um, it just it just really made it that much more fun and that much more competitive, um, especially as a viewer. I pretty much that's like all you can ask for.